Hey everybody, welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Dr. Nick, and this is the 90s Guy Show. Today, I wanted to do the Defining Moments Word Life John Cena. And I, I seen the pictures of it at uh, certain uh, Comic Cons, and they, they revealed some of the pictures, and I was very hopeful for it, because so far we've gotten uh, the Ultimate Maniacs, Ultimate Warrior, we got Sting, uh, the Great American Bash. We also got the uh, Defining Moments Undertaker, Razor Ramon, Hulk Hogan, uh, what was it, uh, Stone Cold. And I was really hyped for this. I was wanting a word life, uh, Defining Moments. I was expecting a lot. And this is basically what we got. This is a basic John Cena. It's the same short mold on the Defining Moments. This is obviously not the Defining Moments. But look at this. If you own it or seen pictures, this is the same basic short mold that they added an Elite Torso to. They, the face scan is absolutely horrible. The face scan on the debut Cena was a lot better because... He looked younger because he was younger. So my question is, is it worth the extra $10 to buy this Defining Moments John Cena? It comes with a generic rubber t-shirt that has a number on it that's supposed to simulate that he has a jersey on and a goofy looking hat that doesn't look right. I'm sorry, but this is a big fail on Mattel's part. Total fail. Failure times like a thousand. I'm sorry. You know, I, I hate to complain about Mattel's figures, but I, I'm certainly not buying this. Um, I wanted to buy the Great American Bash Sting, but I could never find one with a good paint app on it. Everywhere I went, I even ordered a couple, and they came, the paint apps were destroyed. It was horrible. I, I, I wouldn't even spend, I'd probably spend like $10 on this figure. They could have come up with a better idea. They could have put a cloth t-shirt on this. It could have been the old school uh, shiny gold uh, WWE logo that they, they had on there. And it said, Word Life. and Or uh, the one t-shirt that he had that said, The Champ is here. And had the belt printed on it. That would have been cool. There were so many good shirts that he had during that time. And they picked a generic jersey looking shirt. I mean, I understand that they obviously couldn't put one of his jerseys on of some of the teams that he wore because they'd probably have to pay rights to them or licensing of some sort. But this was just, it was lazy, very lazy. Uh, I like the lock uh, necklace on. I like the the uh, little um, brass knuckles that he has. It says Word Life. That's cool. But they just it just doesn't live up to my expectations. On what a defining moments word life John Cena figure should have been, I thought that the uh, this was when they had showed the picture. I guess I didn't really think that it was completely done. I thought maybe well, you know maybe they're adding some stuff to it. Maybe this is a prototype. No, I am not happy. Uh, I mean, if I really wanted to, I could take one of these basics, put an elite torso on it, and you know get one of a jersey from you know an nba figure or football player and put it on there it's good to go so mattel you failed i'm sorry but anyways like this video hit the subscribe button down below and i'll see y'all later